This often overlooked technique will take your color mixing to the next level. If you are already doing this, you know what I mean. Let's take a look. I talk a lot about using a limited palette because I think it's really helpful and um, I want to show you something else about using a limited palette because this, this one here, I have a pre-mixed um, a lot of different colors um, from just uh, three colors plus black and white. But um, using these colors here, I can achieve even more colors, a larger selection than this, by glazing one color on top of another. And I want to show you how that actually looks uh, when I do it on canvas, so you can see the, the difference here. So in this painting here, I used cadmium orange light and kind of stained the canvas uh, yellow. I added some um, dark areas on top, and then I glazed this, um, these blue colors on top of uh, the yellow and also the dark parts. just want to show you the, the colors, the pre-mixed colors again, and then you can compare because I get a, a larger range like this and also some very interesting um, effects that can be achieved in this way. So you see the palette here of pre-mixed colors. And then you see how they um, how they look on the canvas here. You can um, really achieve a lot of very very interesting um, additional effects by uh, glazing colors on top of each other, especially when we are talking um, contrasting um, colors like uh, cool color over warm color or um, the other way around. It's a subtle way of um, achieving um, sophisticated uh, color in your work. It's not as important which three colors you use, plus and black and white. Uh, you can use a variety of different uh, colors that you choose here. I uh, also did a limited color palette. Um, all warm colors and, and tried mixing those. And um, if you want to try your hand at this and uh, discover new exciting color combinations in an easy way, I have a whole um, video on, on how to do that uh, and I'll link to that uh, below this video as well. So, um, so you can take this uh, and uh, go use it in your own art. I think you'll find that it's it's um, very useful and it's fun and it brings some uh, excitement into your painting routine if you feel you've um, kind of lost uh, a bit of that excitement. So uh, try uh, some new color combinations uh, using uh, this color mixing uh, technique that uh, I'll share the link below here. If you're looking for more ways to loosen up your painting style and strengthen your painting process, I want to give you something. I want to give you my free guide called Five Proven Ways to Loosen Up Your Painting Style. It's five of my best proven steps to uh, loosen up and strengthen your art. Um, you can grab your free copy of the guide. I'll leave a link below the video here. The tips are very hands-on and you can get started today it's, um, it's a PDF file, five pages, uh, not a lot to read, but five uh, points um, that are easy to start implementing today so you can get moving um, with your art and uh, having more fun and painting looser and happier.